Hunter Biden is now the first child of a sitting U.S. president to be convicted of a crime. A jury of six men and six women in Delaware deliberated for three hours before finding President Joe Biden's son guilty of all three gun charges he faced. This case was about the illegal choices defendant made while in the throes of addiction. Hunter was convicted of lying to a federally licensed gun dealer, falsely claiming on a federal form when he bought a gun in 2018 that he was not a drug user and illegally owning the gun for 11 days. The trial centered on Hunter's public struggle with addiction and featured testimony from 13 witnesses, including former romantic partners and his daughter Naomi. No one in this country is above the law. Everyone must be accountable for their actions, even this defendant. However, Hunter Biden should be no more accountable than any other citizen convicted of this same conduct. Hunter quickly left the courthouse with First Lady Jill Biden after the verdict. He said in a statement, I am more grateful today for the love and support I experienced this last week than I am disappointed by the outcome. Recovery is possible by the grace of God, and I am blessed to experience that gift one day at a time. His legal team said they would pursue all options available moving forward. In a statement after the verdict, the president said, As I said last week, I am the president, but I am also a dad. Jill and I love our son, and we are so proud of the man he is today. As I also said last week, I will accept the outcome of this case and will continue to respect the judicial process as Hunter considers an appeal. President Biden spoke at a gun safety event in Washington Tuesday afternoon, but did not mention his son's conviction. The verdict comes 12 days after Donald Trump became the first former president convicted of crimes. The Trump campaign put out a statement saying, This trial has been nothing more than a distraction from the real crimes of the Biden crime family. Crooked Joe Biden's reign over the Biden family criminal empire is all coming to an end on November 5th, and never again will a Biden sell government access for personal profit. No other Biden family members have been criminally charged, and Republicans have failed to produce evidence showing Joe Biden profited from the activities of his son or other relatives. Hunter faces a maximum of 25 years in prison, but legal experts say it's unlikely he'll face such a harsh sentence. You don't see many people just charged with this case, that, pardon me, this, 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 this offense, when it's not tied to something greater or bigger scheme. I would think that, you know, there should be a good chance he does not go get incarcerated. Hunter Biden also faces tax evasion charges in California brought by special counsel David Weiss. That trial is set to begin in September. In Washington, Taylor Popolars, Spectrum News. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage. And click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.